Happy Planet Index represents the index reflecting welfare of people and the state of environment in the different countries of the world. It was offered New Economics Foundation NEF, in July 2006. It was made by the network of the United Nations according to decisions in the field of a sustainable development. The main task of an index is to reflect actual welfare of the nations. For comparison of a standard of living in the different countries, I used values of GDP per capita or IRCHP. But these indexes cannot always reflect an actual state of affairs. In particular comparison, a value of GDP is considered inappropriate as an ultimate goal of most of people not to be rich and to be happy and healthy. So, the fifth place is taken by Canada. Canada is the country with the high level of life. The average salary is estimated in thousands of dollars, even after payment of all taxes. The cost of purchase or rent of housing is not much higher than in Ukraine or Russia. The car can be bought or rented without turn and red tape. There are some more important factors influencing appeal of Canada which not to measure by money. It is low level of crime, excellent ecology and good reputation of the country. The policy of Canada causes respect around the world. It is the high-tech state with the developed industry, diversified economy and rich with natural resources. Norway is one of the few countries taking the leading positions on a standard of living of the population. Norway spends huge part of the budget for social programs. The Norwegian children attend free kindergartens. To the working Norwegian women, pay a disemestrial maternity leave, express monetary surcharges for the period of annulling, rely the working Norwegians. Rent of apartments is subsidized with the state. All expenses for education are covered by the state. The Medical care, including the dental surgery help, is free for permanent residents of Norway, medical permits in resort places if they need it. The grant on an old age is equivalent to a salary of the qualified industrial worker. On the third place is Denmark. The Danish monarchy is the most aged in Western Europe until the 90th Denmark operated all Northern Europe and was very patent kingdom. Natural foodstuff and pollution-free way of life are very important for Danes. In 2009, at the World Trade Ecological Fair Biafach, Denmark was called the most eco-friendly country of year. On the second place is Iceland. Iceland is the Scandinavian country island with the population about 320,000 and Reykjavik is the capital. She enters quintuple of the richest countries of the world, is the participant of Schengen and after long fluctuations submitted the application for the entry into European Union. The state language is Icelandic, actually Old Norwegian, but on an equal basis with it is used also English. In spite of the fact that the island Iceland is located in northern Atlantic and is washed cold Greenland and Norwegian by the seas. Its climate is rather soft thanks to warm Gulf Stream. The basis of the economy of Iceland is the industrial fishing and are developed also tourism, processing industry and the services sector. On the first place is Switzerland. Switzerland is the quietest country in Europe. It is very safe and peace area where well-being and the nature merge together. Thanks to it, the country attracts a great number of immigrants and businessmen who were tired of vanity in the homeland. Switzerland is near such countries as Germany, Italy, Austria, France and Liechtenstein. In this country, it is unique the present is combined with former foundations and landscapes it are separate, unforgettable and the show is fascinating. Switzerland has the mountain and saturated atmosphere. For comparison, Belarus takes 59th place, Russia is the 64th place and to Ukraine, unfortunately, there was no place, even the first 100, 111 place from 158. Well, that's all, friends. Be happy, friends. See you soon. Bye.